This brother here, myself, all of us were born with our hair like this and we just wear it like this. This is Kathleen Cleaver, a civil rights activist talking about natural hair in 1968. The reason for it, you might say, is like a new awareness among black people that their own natural appearance, physical appearance is beautiful. For a long time, black people endured painful and often dangerous chemical treatments to straighten their hair in order to conform to society's standards of beauty. A woman should be very, very soft, and so should her hair. But by the 90s, adverts like these were few and far between, thanks to the rise of the natural hair movement, people of African descent embracing the hair texture they were born with. But it seems to be taking the rest of society a little longer to embrace it. Stories of people losing their jobs and being kicked out of school because they have natural hair or hairstyles have been making headlines across the country as recently as well last week. Take Jacasier, who was kicked out of school in 2017 because he had dreadlocks, although he's since returned. They're saying the hair uh, is out of order. She told me that, that by Monday my hair has to be cut. Jacasier's story isn't isolated. So much so that in July 2019, California became the first U.S. state to ban discrimination against natural hairstyles. For many on both sides of the Atlantic, it felt long overdue. The founder of one of the very first natural hair salons in London told me it's crucial to protect natural hairstyles legally because they are a necessity for people with natural hair. As you know, with Afro hair, once you leave it out, it's prone to damage, OK, because the ends are quite fragile. The scalp produces its own oil called sebum. The oil is not able to travel down the hair shaft because of the kinks and curls. So we create hairstyles that use extensions to make sure the hair and the ends of the hair mainly are protected. Okay, so that's why we the term protective hairstyle. And under that comes single plaits, um, cornrows. Despite this, the Good Hair Survey found that while most women worry about their hair, black women in particular experience high levels of anxiety. One in five black women said they feel social pressure to straighten their hair for work, compared to just one in ten white women. So how can people with natural hair in the UK protect themselves? In relation to women wearing high heels, there was a health aspect to it. It wasn't good um, for women's posture. Um, and I think a similar argument could be made to um, people with natural hair where they're being forced to apply products because those sorts of treatments on the hair are damaging. Natural hairstyles have often been celebrated when worn by celebrities of other races. Take this 2014 LA Times article which described model Cara Delevingne's cornrows as chic and edgy. But that doesn't change the fact that natural hair and hairstyles have deep roots in black heritage and culture. Once as symbols of social status, and now as symbols of self-acceptance. I think it's so important that we embrace our natural hair because this is who we are. This is our birthright. You know, we need to learn to love ourselves, you know, uh, regardless of what everybody else thinks. We are so lucky. Our hair is so versatile. You know, so I think it's about time we, we learn to embrace our natural hair.